Hey guys, and welcome back to another speed build. In today's video, I'm going to be building a cute one-story house. It's very nice. On the outside, it's sort of farmhousey, and then on the inside, it's sort of like, I don't know what I would call it, like, modern cottage, I guess? I don't know. You'll see, but I think it came out really nice. So, right now, I'm just building the shell, and this took me ages i was struggling so hard to decide where i wanted to put stuff and then the roof roofing this house was absolute hell that porch area took me like an hour just to do that it was the most annoying thing and i don't ever want to try and roof something ever again I struggled and messed around with it a while. I tried adding a bunch of, like, columns and stuff to help, and eventually what I decided on was this, like, half roof that I just sort of stretched along and shortened, and then I just put another roof in the middle of that. I had to make it pretty short for it to work, but in the end, I think it looked kind of okay. It's supposed to be, like, a nice little wraparound porch area, but the roof on that part was weird. And then I ended up just deciding to carry along that big roof all the way over to the other side, which eventually changed because I added an upstairs after I had done the inside. And yeah, it was such a struggle to find nice columns. There, there was one I wanted to use initially, but it was this weird sort of cream color where you'll see later I have to go back and change it because I couldn't find any stairs or doors that matched the correct wood color. And it was a really pretty nice color. Like, those are nice columns. And I was so sad because all of the white tones for the stairs are way too blue. And so it just doesn't look right. So I had to go back and change it. Which, honestly, didn't even matter because I ended up going with dark brick for the stairs and whole porch area. So, yeah. It's really a problem in this game. We need better matching swatches, but even even the stairs and their matching stone color didn't quite work out, and it took me a minute to try and remember how to do half tiles again, but that's a really nice trick for doing, like, corners on porches and stuff, and ev eventually I figured it out, and I think it looks pretty nice. So, I'm just going through and rearranging all the columns again, because I had to pick a different color of white. And then I just went around and put the columns on all the corners. That's a really nice way to add more detail to your builds. And then I also did little railing and put a matching fence on the stairs. Which, some of the fences don't have matching stair rails. So I did the stairs first to make sure I could find a matching fence. Because all of the stair rails have matching fences, but not all the fences have matching stair rails. I don't know. I think it's really confusing, and it would be more helpful if they just named them all the same things. And then I couldn't really decide. Uh, like, I chose that Moshino window, and that was really nice. I really thought that was cute, but I couldn't pick what front door to do and what colors to make it. I ended up just going with white, but it it took me a minute to choose something. And then I ended up just doing this very basic, like, pale blue siding around the rest of the house just something quite simple and i wanted to put a column in the middle there and then do two windows on either side but it was like one tile off and that was really annoying so i ended up just putting a really nice big open like bay window there which was really pretty and i just kind of went around the house and put windows places where they looked nice and i ended up just making everything white because you know, it's easier to match that way. Also, it took me like ages to find matching windows that A, had the same color white, and then also looked nice. And this, the fence kept doing this weird thing where it would like jump to build height, so I had to place it weird, which was really annoying. And then additionally, I struggled a little bit figuring out where I wanted to put the windows, because I didn't really, I had some ideas of what I wanted the inside to look like, but I didn't really know how I was going to do that. And I wasn't sure where to put the trash cans. Oh, and then this is my favorite bit. I didn't, I knew I wanted to put some like plants in front of the window, 
but I couldn't figure out how to make it look nice, so I did this platform thing, and I was really, really proud of myself, because I don't usually use platforms in builds, and I think it ended up looking really, really nice, and it's, I had to play around a lot to figure out what type of plants I liked, and then I had to figure out how to switch the season to summer, or I think spring I did, actually, so that the plants would show up, and I tried a couple things, and I didn't really like any of them, so I had to, like, redo it a lot. But in the end, I think I came up with something that looked alright. The whole outside area and the terraforming and stuff, I was really quite pleased with. Just because it ended up looking very nice, and I wasn't really sure what I wanted to do with a lot of it. So the fact that it actually turned out okay was quite shocking. But now I'm just doing some terrain paint stuff, making a little path, adding some more flowers and stuff. I find it looks really, really nice when you just put a little bit of dirt on the edges of plants. And we're on the inside now. So I actually, I used a specific color of wood floor that made it really hard for me to find a nice wallpaper to go with it. So I played around a lot with the different colors of walls. And eventually it got to a place where I liked it but it took me a while and I also took so long to decide on what little like table stand I wanted there it took me ages I think I s sat there for like 30 something minutes just retrying all these different swatches and it was so annoying because I didn't want something that blended in really well but I also wanted something that wasn't like super garish but I couldn't find anything and then I wanted to alt place all these decorations, but I kept doing it so that the thing wasn't in the right place. But I recently downloaded a bunch of custom content paintings, and they all look really, really nice. So I was quite happy with that. Moving on to the kitchen, I ended up using these really nice ravishing counters that I really like. And they've got a couple of, like, really nice swatches. I ended up going for, I think, like, just a blue-ish color. And I wanted to do this little stick out bit, but because of the way that the counters work, it looked weird. So I used a half wall and I was really, really happy because I also never, I don't use half walls or platforms usually. And so I was really happy that I was able to make it look nice. And I liked those doors, but they were sort of smaller than I was expecting. I know there's a really big arch you can get, but I don't think I have the pack it comes in. And I was going to use that, but I ended up just making it more open plan. So, yeah. And it took me so long to figure out. Like, I went back and changed it a couple times, too. Because I had to keep trying to find a color stair that would both match the flooring and match the other wood tones. It's a just a big problem that The Sims has. None of the woods match. And I really liked that little, like upper counter piece where it like goes around the fridge I thought that was really cool and I wanted to do sort of like a little bar island area just because we had enough space and it was pretty open and so it took me a couple tries to decide what I wanted to do but I ended up see I flipped it there I ended up flipping it back and putting replacing one of those ones with a bar so that you could actually drink like you could order like a drink and make yourself a drink there and that might have been a bad idea, because when I play with it, my sims are just all going to become alcoholics, but, you know, whatever. And I actually ended up, I think, moving the whole kitchen one block over so I could fit a ladder in to get up to that little room I made, but put a little rice cooker or whatever, and then over in the dining room, again, could not find the right size of table with a wood swatch that I liked. It was so annoying. And I ended up going with these fairly simple chairs. And then I realized that I had to put a door in the room to go into the bathroom and into the living room. So I scooched the whole table down one. And I put this carpet. I love putting this carpet in. I think I put it in it in the last build, speed build I did. But it's that one swatch of that carpet specifically I think is really nice. And I just could not figure out how to get these stairs to work. They were just too thick and it didn't look nice and I couldn't place them next to each other. So I, what I ended up doing is I think I ended up deleting the stairs coming off of the kitchen side and putting them on the living room side and then just not doing stairs in the rest of it. 
but that was really annoying. I was like, why why aren't there better options? I think it's still functional. I think they could still get up there. I wasn't sure about the living room one because it was like really up close to a door. So I did put stairs in the living room one. But I think your Sims should be able to walk because it's only a one down platform. But it was so annoying. We just, we need better ways to make things look correct in The Sims. I don't know if that makes any sense, but like, those stairs were really, really thick. And I wanted to do like, an inset thing where your Sims could like, walk downstairs throughout the whole area. But it was, it just looked weird. So I was kind of upset about that. But then I ended up putting a chimney... And it took me a minute to find one that I liked and, like, put it in the right place because I wanted to do a fireplace. And if you have a fireplace in your build, then smoke will come out of the chimney. So I set up a little fireplace and I put the TV up on it. And then it took me ages to find a couch I liked, mainly because the ones that I liked the style of didn't have the correct wood swatch. Wood swatches, again, they always get me. And then the ones that I did like the wood swatch of didn't have the correct, like color scheme that I wanted so eventually I just settled on this one which is a really nice custom content one and then I found this car this little beetle car and I thought it was so cute so I decided to make a little driveway area over there and that was pretty simple to make but back inside I'm just adding some clutter and stuff into the um living room I really wanted to do like a vase thing but I couldn't find a nice looking one so I ended up just going with that little plant on that stack of books and then putting in some like other little clutter things. I think I ended up doing just like a tray or like a mug or something because I couldn't I couldn't decide on what looked nice. And I still kind of wish that there was more nice looking clutter stuff that I could have put there, but I couldn't decide on any really. So it turned out okay, I guess. But moving on to the bathroom, I didn't film that. Because I didn't think it would be very interesting, but it was actually really, it was really cool. And it took me a minute to pick, like, like, I immediately got the bed I liked. But then I did, like, a trim thing on it, and I put little sandals up next to it. And I couldn't decide how to do the windows. There's no good curtains, really, in-game for these windows. You have to do it weird. So I used these nice custom curtains that I have, where you place down the curtain rods, and then you can attach the curtains, like sort of in-game, and I thought that was really cute, so I played around with that for a little minute. And then for a nightstand, I just chose something relatively simple and decided to put a plant and a clock on there, because why not? And then I really liked this, like, stand-up mirror thing, so I put that in there. And I did a desk, and I was just going to do sort of like an office area, but it didn't feel like the space was full enough, so I ended up putting, you'll see it in a minute, I ended up putting a photo lab in there, and I think it looks really cool. And sort of the idea is that the sim who lives here is really creative and is a photographer. And so I set up a little area for them to take their photos. And I wasn't initially going to do that, and then I saw that little Polaroid camera, and I put it up on the desk. And then I was like, oh, hey, this is a cool thing, and it would help fill up some space. Let's do this. So I got these. Most of this is custom content, but... I have a bunch of cameras, I've got a tripod, I've got some of the camera stuff from Moschino, and then I also have like a string of Polaroids from just some custom content that I downloaded a while ago, and I thought those looked nice in the area, and I put these custom picture frames up, because with one of the mods that I have, once I take the pictures, I can put them in those frames, and it'll hopefully look really nice, and I set up this little picture studio area, and then I decided, wait, If I'm going to be living in this house, it would be a good idea to have a spare bedroom where I could put, like, a child in or something. So I made that little overhang on the roof, and it wasn't super obvious or anything. And then I had to move the whole kitchen over. And for some reason, that one counter glitched. So I moved the whole kitchen over in order to make room for a ladder to get up there. And so when I actually play in the house, the plan is to eventually put, like, a teen's room up there or something. And now we're done. All right, we are all done. And honestly, I'm really proud of this. I think it turned out super cute. It took me like, God knows how long, like four hours, but I'm really happy with it. 
And so I kind of wanted to take you guys on a little tour if I can figure out how to get the camera to work right. I might just have to use the Sims 4 camera. Doesn't look as pretty, but I know how to use it better. So here's the entrance area. It's really cute. The whole house has just like a sweet little cozy vibe. It's on the outside, sort of like farmhousey almost. But then on the inside, I was kind of going for like a weird mix of sort of like cozy, warm cottage vibes, but then also something a little bit more modern. And I really, really like it. I think I might actually end up using this house for um, my legacy series. Here's the kitchen. I just genuinely really like everything about this house. It's really cool. We've got a ladder up here that leads to this sort of secret attic room that I might turn into a child's bedroom if I end up playing in this house. I almost never use platforms and I use them a lot in this house and I'm really pleased with how it came out. So we've got this like little slightly deep set like dining room area and then these big open glass doors that lead into the those doors don't go away okay that lead into this little lounge and we've got a fireplace tv combo with a coffee table and this nice little couch and then if you go outside onto the super cute porch which i'm probably going to end up cluttering this with stuff like a lot if i end up playing in this house so i left it kind of open and then we've got over here oop that shouldn't be there we've got over here just a nice little gardening area. All of these ones, I have a mod that lets me use this little box here to automatically take care of plants. So this should take care of these three plots, but I couldn't put these correctly here because the whole house is raised. And so when I tried to place them, it put them on the same level as the house, which I did not like, so I chose not to do that. So these two will have to be tended manually, but these three can basically do their own thing. Back inside and over through here. I did not show the bathroom in the footage because I thought it would be quite boring, but honestly, I'm really pleased with the bathroom. I think it came out really nice. We've got this big open custom shower and this cool shower head. I think the whole house overall is just really cool. And then, and then one of my favorite areas, we have the bedroom with this cute little cozy bed area and this really nice wardrobe with this mirror leaning up against it. And then we have this area, which I turned into sort of a photography studio since we had so much space. And I was sort of thinking the Sim who lives here could be really into like doing photos and stuff. And I think it's just really cool. So yeah, it's my house. Let's put the walls back up. I think it turned out really well. I tried to make sort of like a little driveway area because I found this really cute little beetle car. I think this is just adorable. But yeah, thanks for watching. If you liked this video, please consider subscribing or checking out some of my other videos that I've done. Bye!